Well, it's the late afternoon, and in the distance I spotted a fox, and I'm managing to lure him closer and closer by mimicking a rabbit in distress. Well, the funny thing about these foxes is often what they'll do is they'll take off just like that guy did. I whistled him in, whistled him in, he came over, bang, he just took off. Now what I'm just trying to do is I'm just trying to survey this slope. He's came up into this slope and I know he's run into a hollow up here. Whether he's got a den or into a tree hollow, I know he's went into one. So all I'm doing now is I'm just walking through, just surveying, just trying to pick up any sort of tracks you see. This fox, his retreat site, he's used this before. He used this, he's used this site many times before in retreating from people, retreating from any other animals, any other predators might have came his way. So all I'm trying to do is just follow along the grass, just look for his tracks. That's all I'm try trying to find, is just looking for his tracks. And I know he's out here somewhere. A technique which I often do is I'll walk, I'll walk side to a hill, always dealing with the areas, always, you gotta, you gotta know where the movement of the areas, you see. If you're upwind, and he can smell you, it's very bad. He's gonna take off, you got absolutely no chance in hell in catching him. So what I'm just trying to do is just stay downhill and just keep my eyes out. Just watching, 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 watching. Now the funny thing about a fox is often what will happen is a fox will go into a hole or go into a den, but before he does that, he'll sit and he'll just watch and watch and watch and watch. And pretty much what he's doing is he's just trying to make sure that whatever's been chasing him a kilometre down there hasn't followed him back to his retreat site. Because often with foxes, they've only got one entry, straight in, and one out. And that's where I come in. Here we have the European, the European red fox. Ah. Oh, he's just bit me. Hey, hey, settle, 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 settle. Now this guy here is one of the major problems that we're having out here in the Australian bush. The European, the European red fox. Now I've just been stalking him and stalking him and stalking him. And finally, I knew I was going to get him. I knew to pull you out. Hey mate. Hey, now these guys here, I'm going to have to watch this bite on my hand. These guys here carry a lot of bacteria on their teeth. And often, it's not the bite that you have to be worried about. It's the infection which is going to settle in after. That's the biggest problem with these guys. It's the infection. Now these guys here, these are the biggest... Hey, settle. These guys here are the biggest native killer. These guys here are the biggest problem to Australia's wildlife. This here, the European red fox. Hey, Trichy, I reckon I got you. I pulled you out, eh? Hey, you ain't going nowhere. Now you're in a one-way hollow, I reckon. The best way to hold these animals, and I advise never go down a hollow log with a fox, because you might get him, but guess what? He's gonna get you too. He's gonna get a good bite on you. But just the scruff, as hard as you can, in around the back of the neck, and get your hands, in under his arms, just hold him in, hold him in, hold him in tight, just let him know that you're in control. And I got you good, didn't I? Look, he's absolutely pa. Yeah, you didn't think I was gonna pull you out, did ya? Hey? I got you good. Now this guy here, what are you? You're a male. Hey, settle. This guy here's a male. He's probably about a year, two years old. They do get a lot larger than this, and he's just going out from his his winter coat into his summer coat. He's just changing colour a bit. Hey, settle mate, settle. Now these guys here will eat absolutely anything, and I mean anything. These guys will probably chew on bark. These guys are an, an, an opportunist, aren't you, eh? An absolute opportunist. Now this guy here, he's got better hearing than you. This guy here, he's got better eyesight. This guy here, he's got a better sense of smell. But what he can't do is outrun the hunter. Hey, can't outrun me, can you? Can't outrun me.